Hello there. Welcome to B1NN, the B1 News Network on Hot Lava Music TV. I'm Cedric Blackman with breaking news. But before I start, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cedric Blackman and Von Savage Media. Then make sure you visit jlava.com. Now let's join the live stream already in progress. Uh, about 9:45 this morning, uh, 911 received a shots fired call at this location. The deputies and uh, medical personnel responded and located a 45-year-old male that had been shot. Um, you know, from them again, life-saving measures were taking place, trying to trying to save his life. Unfortunately, he did not survive the shooting. Um, so currently, we're working the scene with our crime scene personnel. The coroner's office is on scene also right now. So we're we're going to be here for a little bit, just trying to work through that. Um, we do have an outstanding suspect out there but we don't have enough information to release right now. Uh, this was some sort of dispute between two and uh, the two employees. And again, unfortunately, this man was shot during the, during the dispute, during the altercation. Um, so we're trying to formulate and get enough information to get that, get that out to the public right now. Um, we don't really think that there's a, a public safety danger, um, you know, immediate danger to the public or anything like that. But we do want to try to get that information out there as soon as we can. So. As soon as we do have that sus suspect information, we'll get it out there. When you say employees, a, a truck driver or was it an employee actually here working on the side? Yeah, I, I, th I think they do the dirt pit. It's a variety of stuff that they do here. Um, and it's my understanding that there was two uh, temporary employees that were here, one, one in particular temporary employee that um, had a dispute with one of the people that works here full time. And that's, uh, again, that, that dispute or that altercation finally, you know, manifests itself into a, to, to the subject pulling a gun. And now, you say you have an outstanding so suspect. We do. Uh, not enough to really release information on. Do you know no. that because there were witnesses to this yeah, crime? Yeah, there were several witnesses, witnesses to the crime. And then, um, you know, in this, this case, this day and age, we've got actual video of the crime taking place. So um, we have a lot of information. We're just trying to, trying to get all that information compiled to where you know, we can get a, an accurate description out to the to you guys, actually. Any idea where that person fled to or which direction? We they believe went? they're from, uh, or he is from Mobile, the Mobile area, so we, we think he possibly went back that way. So uh, we'll be coordinating with the United States Marshal Service and Mobile PD here here shortly to uh, see if we can try to get this person picked up. So. Do you anticipate giving us and the public that suspect's name, images, to be on the lookout well, at some point today? Again, possibly. We'll, we'll just have to, you know, determine if that's, if, if, if we that's really fair. think that that's necessary or not, how. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that when we get to that point. A uh, witness uh, and neighbor reported hearing what she thought was six shots mm -hmm. back to back. Um, is it your understanding that it was just one gun involved? Was there a shootout? No, or? it was just one, one firearm. One firearm by this suspect? Yes, sir. Uh, was it, were any of the other witnesses in danger? Was there close calls? Well, no, I don't think they were were where this took place. They were. It's a pretty large piece of property, so I think they were off at other areas, um, but close enough to witness what took place. Any idea what the dispute may have been over from these other witnesses? I don't know at this point. We we just don't know um, exactly what what happened. You know, so again, that'll be part part of the investigation to figure out what what started it. Uh, there was a, a medical helicopter that came right. and took off earlier. But nobody on board that helicopter then? No. No, it was determined there was no need for it, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Music TV. Church, preach, tabernacle. It's the only way we're going to get any action. Man, I want to give a shout out to two BBFs. Friends, you dig? Hey, they had a special shout out, you know what I mean? I mean, somebody care about y'all, man. Want to give y'all congratulations to Jay Lava and T. Von Savage on their success on keeping it P on their podcast where they take new situations and everyday occurrence and tell how it is and not like it was, you did. They be keeping it on the P for real. Y'all tune in to their podcast here. Yeah? I'm telling T-Von Savage and Jay Lever. Hey, man. Vicky think a lot about y'all, man. 
Y'all just keep doing your thing, man. Keep making it happen, man. Y'all super live, man. Y'all keep it on the peak, man. I just want to send out a family congratulations from all the famous players around the world to Jay Lava and T. Ron Savage on y'all success, man. Keep it P, man. From the P mouth to yourself. The Bishop Don Matthew Juan, chairman of the board of famous players everywhere. You dig? Music TV. 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 Music TV.